Welcome back everyone for more tips and tricks for PlayStation. In this video, I'm going to show you the one thing that almost every PS4 user wishes they knew about a lot sooner. It has to do with charging your controller and a very easy way to actually make your PS4 controller last a lot longer. Now most people know that in order to charge your PlayStation controller, you usually have to plug it into the console using a USB cable. However, this is actually the worst way to charge your PS4 controller and there's a big reason why. The micro USB port on the DualShock 4 is over time known to experience issues issues with both charging and connecting. In some situations, the controller might even completely stop charging altogether. If your PlayStation controller won't connect to your PS4 anymore, chances are the problem is likely the USB connection itself or the cable. If you're constantly connecting and disconnecting the cable every single day to charge your controller, then over time it will start wearing out and you will have to replace the micro USB cable almost guaranteed. And this isn't so much an issue with the controller itself as it is with just micro USB in general. In fact, it is very common for these cables to just randomly stop working on their own for no apparent reason. Luckily, the PS5 does not have this problem with the DualSense thanks to the much needed USB Type-C upgrade. So what exactly can you do to prevent excess wear on your controller and unnecessary spending on micro USB cables? Well, the answer is very simple and surprisingly cheap. The one thing that almost every PS4 user wishes they started doing a lot sooner is charging their controller using the bottom EXT port. In case you didn't know, just like the PS5 DualSense, you can also charge your DualShock 4 using the somewhat mystery port on the bottom of the controller. And instead of spending money on a pack of replacement micro USB cables, you can invest in a cheap charging station for the exact same price. I actually ended up purchasing a couple different PS4 charging stations for myself, and the most affordable one was only $13 on Amazon, which is literally almost the same price as a pack of new micro USB cables. I wanted to compare two really cheap alternatives to the original DualShock 4 charging station, which is very expensive and almost impossible to find. It turns out both chargers I purchased from Amazon were worked just as well, but I was particularly impressed by a charging dock from this brand called Oivo. I think that's how you say it. For just $13, the quality is pretty decent, and it's similar to the original in both shape and size. The Power A dual charging station was good, but it was more expensive and kind of clunky in comparison to the others. Overall, if I had to pick one, it would definitely be the original Sony charging station. Unfortunately, they no longer make it, so it's pretty difficult to purchase. But for anyone currently looking for a better way to charge your PS4 controller, the charging dock from Oivo gets my top recommendation. Now you know that you can help your PS4 controller and USB cables last longer by simply charging your controller from the EXT port. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like rating, comment below to let me know what you think, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys next week.